Hey guys, this is Carl here from Carl Archery and Motorcycle Adventures, and today I'm actually going to give you a video that has the potential to change your life, okay? And the title of the video is called, Do This If You Feel That You Cannot Get Over Your Ex, okay? Alright, first off, one thing that I want you to understand is that being in that position is making you be in this constant cycle, okay? And in that constant cycle, what is really going on is that you are seeking someone's validation that has proven to you that they are non-deserving to even receive your validation, okay? And what that is doing is it is triggering a wound within inside you of abandonment, okay? And so because of that, what happened was this person has rejected you or tossed you to the side or put you on the bench or, you know, a multitude of other reasons. And your ego is trying to drive you and constantly make you want to ask why. What is it that you have done that is so bad that this person would do this to you or abandon you or anything of the sort because you feel within yourself that you would not do that to them, okay? That is a tactic that is literally a stranglehold on you, okay? And what that is, like I said, it's putting you on the bench because in their mind, they know, well... They know that at the majority of the time that all they have to do is just come back and give you just a crumb and you're going to gobble it up and eat it up because you are not fulfilled within yourself, okay? When you are fulfilled with yourself, you are not searching for other people's validation. You are not worried about playing that game. Or getting in that toxic cycle of breaking up to make up. And that's eventually what stuff like that turns to. Is in a cycle of breaking up to make up. Okay. And you have to be very careful out here. Especially on the internet. When you are dealing with these situations in your real life. Because if you are not, you are very possibly going to stumble upon people that are going to take advantage of that and they will try to drain you of monetary value they will try to drain your energy they will try to do a lot of things to keep you coming back to where they can extract those resources from you by basically doing a manipulative tactic to to feed off of that wound from you okay Am I saying that there isn't a flip side to that coin as far as like businesses that do those things? Of course there is because, you know, you could say that they're helping people, which in a sense they are. But the reality is at the end of the day, you have to learn that the whole goal for you is to not have to keep coming back to them or to keep going back. Same thing. You just, you have to get out of that because someone who genuinely cares about you, say it's a coach or a spiritual leader or anything of the sort, okay, their actual goal, if they truly genuinely care about you, is to give you the insight or the information that you need to eventually light your inner sun, okay? And at that point... They want to basically get you in a position to where you don't have to keep coming back, okay? But if you're constantly coming back, then you're not learning anything. You're not learning the lesson. You aren't, you're just going to continue to deal with the same things over and over and over again because the reality is, while yes, you can sit here and say to yourself, well, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? The thing that is wrong 
is it's an internal issue with yourself because you are seeking approval from other people. You have to seek your own validation and your own purpose and your own wants and needs and desires from within yourself. You have to find the things that drive you constantly to get to the next level, do the next thing and become bigger and better. Everything else and everyone else you need to put in the position of making them the spectators. And once you are able to do that, you gain control of your life. Okay? And until you do that, nothing is going to change. You know, yesterday I made a video comparing bear shaft tuning arrows to, you know, basically becoming in tune with yourself. And that is very, very, very important, okay? Because again, like I said in that video, how can you expect to get results that you want if you are not willing to put in the work to do so, okay? You cannot allow yourself to become another statistic where you're constantly stuck in that circle of breaking up to make up, okay? Because here's what's going to happen. Either A, you can live the rest of your life doing that to where eventually you realize that you've wasted so much time that you can't get back that you feel like that's the only answer for the rest of your life. And you end up not doing anything or going anywhere or becoming a better person. Not necessarily for, for other people, but becoming a better person for yourself because you owe it to yourself. All right, and you have to be willing to let go of your ego of being rejected or being pushed away or being benched, okay? Because eventually, once you see your own worth and you take all of those games and everything and you put them in the past and leave them there, that's when other people are going to see your worth. That's not me saying that you uh, that's not me saying that you have to go search for other people's validation because that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to search for your own validation within yourself. And once you do that, that's when change starts to happen. That's when better things come into your life. Because what do you want to do? Do you want to be in a position to where you're stuck in this constant toxic cycle that eventually when the right person comes along to you like I don't know, I'll use the phrase twin flame or, you know, that that right person. What are you going to do if that person ends up coming along and you're still stuck in this t constant cycle? That means that something that you've been wanting the entire time is put right into your face and you just push it away and cast it to the side because you didn't do the work to understand that what it was that you actually needed per se, I'm not saying that you need other people, I'm just talking as a generalization. What I'm saying is what, how are you, what are you going to do with yourself when one day you sit back you're laying in bed on the end of your bed crying and complaining about life because you're still stuck in the same thing. And you look back and you realize that what it was that you always wanted was already there. But then you made the decision to be like, oh, well, no. You can't blame anybody but yourself in that regard. You can't. Because here's the thing. Everyone that comes into our lives, no matter if they're around forever or if they aren't, they're made to be lessons. And like I said, until you learn the, the most important lesson, you are going to keep meeting that same energy and that same person throughout different bodies. And a lot of people end up wasting their entire life because of that. So I want to encourage you 
to do the hard thing. I want to encourage you to let stuff like that go. Now, that's not saying that people are perfect and that, you know, or anything like that, because people do make mistakes and people have the ability to change and become better. But as I've stated before, most people won't and most people don't because they are choosing to not do the work. And like I said in a video yesterday, in that comparing an arrow shaft to a human being, how can you be upset? by the results that you are not getting based on the work that you are not doing. You can't. You cannot be upset because at that point, that is your own choices and your own fault. So if you actually truly want to change your life, you have to stop putting yourself in the position to getting the answers that you want to hear. Because if you are constantly putting yourself in a position of someone telling you what it is that you want to hear, then that's taking away from the whole point. It's distracting you from the root issue and the root problem that is within you. So you have to decide. Are you ready to change your life? Truly, truly change your life? Or do you want to continue being stuck in the situation that you're in now by even watching this video or looking for videos telling you, oh, well, you know, they did this for this reason. Or, you know, basically you're trying to, you're trying to give yourself validation to make it seem as if you are not crazy. I understand. I get it. I've been there. We have all been there. And anybody says that, that you know they haven't, they're lying. Okay? Remember this. Remember all of these things. Because life will not change for you until it is you who decides to get up and do the work. 